So this week I get asked a very relevant question round about the subject of KPIs. Now I know this subject can be a little bit kind of iffy when it comes to recruiters and what we're actually looking to achieve, but I do have my views on it and it's views that have been very targeted to working at Firefish for the last year. I had views on it before I came to Firefish and they have changed a little bit since I came here. I'm fast approaching being here for a year, so I've had the unique, again, experience of being able to speak to recruiters from all different weights, whatever it be from temporary recruitment to permanent recruitment, it just really depends on your business. Now I look at this in two different ways. KPIs can be something driven as a negative, that's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to be putting KPIs in place for recruiters that they're just there to tick a box. If somebody asks me to make 20 calls, am I going to make the 20 calls just to tick a box so I don't get into any trouble at the end of the day? At the end of the day, KPIs are there to be able to make your money. That's how recruiters can look at their day, see what they need to achieve to get to that, that target for, they've got for the month, but also to make their commission checks. So thinking about it as a negative is something we need to get out of our businesses straight away. If you look at it from a positive point of view, any KPI that we do here, we need to work on what is going to be the outcome of it. So if you're putting a KPI in place for your business, make sure they're achievable. Make sure you look at it off the back of stats that you have in your business, what good recruiters have been doing to hit that number that they need at the end of the month. KPI should always be achievable, but they should also be there to coach and guide your staff through their day. That's what KPIs have always been there for. Don't have it just to be there to drive your staff to to kind of micromanage a little bit, it can start to become a little bit of a bad process when that happens. So use it as a positive, use it to coach, always think what the outcome is going to be at the end of your KPI, because at the end of the day, we want the business to be successful and we want your recruiters to be successful. If you have any different techniques or things that you would like to bring to this discussion, please comment below and I will also leave a couple of links to blogs that we have at Firefish here round about KPIs. But I would leave that with you. Please always use your KPIs for coaching and for trying to bring your staff on. Don't use it as a negative. Thanks very much for listening. I'll speak to you again next week.